Hey gang, today I want to talk to you about a really underappreciated but very excellent scary story, a spooky novel by Shirley Jackson called We Have Always Lived in the Castle. Let's go. So Shirley Jackson, seen here, best known for her short story, The Lottery, which most people have probably read, but she wrote other books too. She wrote a novel called uh, The Haunting of Hill House, which is very famous, but I think her best work is her novel called We Have Always Lived in the Castle. And here I have it in the Library of America edition. Now I was looking at a website about the Library of America, and I found that a lot of people were complaining and saying that Shirley Jackson doesn't deserve a Library of America edition of her works. She was too minor of a writer. I completely disagree with that. I think she's a fantastic writer, and this is a fantastic book. And as you know, I love scary stories, and this is one of the best. So, we have always lived in the castle. It's it's very much gothic in tone, um, but it's written in the mid 20th century, so it has a much kind of an anachronistic feel about it. You know, it feels like a gothic novel, but it also feels a little more modern, and that's interesting. Uh, it's the story of Mary Catherine Blackwood and her sister Constance, who live alone in his dilapidated, crumbling house uh, on the outskirts of town. And what I think Shirley Jackson is great at is subtlety. Uh, this is a very spooky characters. There's a very spooky location. It's a very spooky situation. But you never really know what's going on. Um, in the first paragraph, uh, it's narrated from Mary Catherine's point of view. She's 18 years old. In the first paragraph, she says that she wishes she were a werewolf, that she likes poisonous mushrooms, and that everyone else in her family is dead. So right off the bat, it sets you up for this very deeply odd child telling these memoirs about her life. Uh, it, she reminds me of Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family. It's very much in that style of vein. There's a, there's a game, a card game called Gloom that I like to play that reminds me a lot of this book. It's just got this very dark and depressing and uh, crumbling old stone buildings and creepy characters wandering around. Uh, it's a, a real masterpiece of suspense and, um, and just that kind of spooky feeling that I like so much. Uh, and like I said, you don't really find out what's going on until the end, so it's, it's a great, uh, kind of keeps you hanging in that regard. This edition also collects uh, a couple of her other novels and some of her short stories. As a short story writer, I think she's really fantastic. She writes a lot of very open-ended short stories that, aren't, that don't have a, a definite conclusion. You kind of have to read into it what you think they're about. And some of them, you know, I've said before, short stories, if they're really good, they really stick with you, and, and you remember them, and they become a part of you. I think some of her short stories are like that. They really they become a part of me and I really remember them all the time. I think they're great stories. Uh, but if you like, like I do, spooky, scary, gloomy, Victorian feeling, uh, even though it's not Victorian, gothic novels, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, fantastic read, highly recommend it. Uh, and The Haunting of Hill House is good too, but I like We Have Always Lived in the Castle best. All right, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for reading. If you're interested in my writing, I've got a link below in the description to my Amazon page. You can buy my books there. Please do. I like to get money. Uh, and I'll see you around next week. Thank you.